I always start seated at the nine o'clock position beginning on the upper left side just because I'm comfortable with that but you could start wherever you feel comfortable. I do my bend in the saliva ejector that I talked about previously and I have the patient turn towards the side that I'm working on. I'll start with the posterior and move anteriorly instrumenting either all sides away from me or all sides towards me. Here I'm using my mirror for indirect vision on surfaces away from me in the posterior. When I get to the anterior teeth, I move my chair to the 12 o'clock position so I'm seated at the top of the patient's head. And if you have set your water correctly, you shouldn't be spraying the patient in the face. If you keep the ultrasonic tip adapted to the tooth and subgingival, then the water will mostly be contained. At the midline, I switch to indirect vision. I'm still at 12 o'clock for all the anterior teeth, but as I get to the premolars, move my chair back to nine o'clock and using my mirror to retract a little bit I'm able to see the surfaces towards me with direct vision. Then I'm done with that upper left quadrant and I'm ready to move to the lower quadrant on the same side. I quickly reverse the bends in my suction and then start on the posterior teeth in much the same way as I did on the upper. I will use indirect vision on surfaces away from me And when I get to the canine, I again will move to the 12 o'clock position for the anterior teeth. I use direct vision for the anterior labial surfaces and then easily switch to indirect vision for the lingual surfaces. When I get back around to the premolars, I move my chair back to 9 o'clock and with some gentle retraction of the tongue, I'm able to directly see the surfaces towards me. Now I'm finished with the left side. I have the patient turn their head to the right now and I hang the suction on the right side of the mouth. I don't need to readjust the suction because it's all set for the upper right side. I'll proceed with much the same technique as the left side moving into the 12 o'clock for the anteriors and so forth. But on the right side, the surfaces towards me are going to be the buccal surfaces and the lingual surfaces are the ones that will require indirect vision. And you'll notice that I'm using a cross arch fulcrum. I don't do that for hand scalers, only for ultrasonics. Now for the last quadrant, I'll simply reverse the bends in the suction and continue in the same way. The only difference here is that it's more comfortable for me to do the anterior surfaces of the lower right side at the eight o'clock position as opposed to the 12 o'clock position. And then I'm done. After this, it's time to hand scale.